Bahadur game. Uh, the story of chances created and not utilized comes into question, Gilbert. Is it uh, a conversation they probably have had at the dressing room on how to, you know, take advantage of the chances they are creating up front? Because it seems like the fans have had that discussion as well and they have come to that conclusion. Well, I think uh, on the side of Bahir Dar, the team that is actually in your picture in blue right now, their game plan was to try and get onto the score sheet as quickly as possible. And that is the reason why they've had most of the attack and also most of the shots. But again, on the downside is that Dire Dawa came with a plan to try and hold on to uh, that golden draw in the first half because they've really not had much coming their way. And Fru Ketahun has really, really been uh, uh, outstanding for them, especially in the first half. Fitzum Alemu had an opportunity in the first half alone with the goalkeeper and he decides to take uh, a shot that hit the post. Girma providing very, very good feed, especially coming from deep midfield to try and join in uh, uh, in the attack for uh, for Bahidad. It has not worked at this particular point. point. And uh, Richmond Odongo. Yeah, they've, they've made a very early <laughs> substitution. Richmond Odongo has been substituted for a man whom we haven't seen in the game before. And uh, his place is taken by Samuel Zerihun. Uh, is an attacking bit. So maybe they want a little bit of punch up at the front. And about Adongo having commanded a first team position, a first team place in today's game, was uh, a testimony to the fact that he's, he's been working slightly harder. But uh, probably not working hard enough. So. We'll see what happens in the second half as well. Marcos Elias and Haile Jaber at Hanon. Yadefa will take you through the 90 minutes in America. I am in the company of uh, Coach Gilbert Celebwa to help you analyze this game and to also take you all the way to the 45th minute of this second half. A half in which we expect that uh, there's going to be a change of fortunes here in terms of how they are playing it. We've only seen one change in terms of the players on the field. And now a cross, and this one again uh, just goes over. And what will Fitzum have to do in this game to get the ball into the net? Not the first time that uh, is being denied this. He has hit the crossbar. He has hit a shot outside. Now this one again just refuses to go into the net. What more can Bai do to help him, Gilbert? And surely Fitzum Alemu the in a prime again. position. The, the run was very good. The timing of the pass very good but the precision of Fitsuma Lemu really lets him down and the goalkeeper Freu Getahun says why do you allow them that kind of space well for the other <laughs> side they'll be thinking how many more of those spaces can we create then and be happy with it so Bayer has become the provider did it tower itself as well with a new striker up at the front are trying to see whether they can get a shot at goal someone's area when he's the man now who will be playing at the top together with uh, Muedin Musa and we'll see whether that will help them along, uh, you know, having made that crucial change there. First touch for uh, the new substitute. Uh, they have it out on the left side. They had it on the right, trying to bring it back to the left. Here is the shot, hurriedly taken. And he is a little bit frustrated, wondering why he wasn't given the ball slightly earlier. And he's been forced to pull something that was not part of the plan, Gilbert. What, what? They must have had a plan on how they wanted to go about but, it. Bernard, why should he be worried? I mean, uh, 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 furious. He was given a, uh, the ball in a prime position. In fact, he was all alone. Take your time, pick your spot, and put the ball in the net. He That's was what, in a hurry. Uh, there he is again. That's what I'm saying. It, it, it wasn't in his plan. His oh, plan was slightly different. <laughs> this one goes to the goalkeeper. Harrison Hesu will have no problem dealing with it. Uh, There's going to be the Bahir Dar side starting the build-up again. Trying to get the ball into the midfield. Dira Dawa are pushing. And they're looking at every little space they have got. Uh, Rihun has uh, gotten it at least to his teammate. Eno Kisayas, who's lost it now. Fitsu Malemu has got Bayer trying to run into position. Asking for it as well and trying to capitalize on his speed. Uh, but Fireu Getahun gets there first. And uh, denies them the chance for any plans they have. I think they must have been told to speed up the game and try and get a goal in the first five minutes or ten minutes of the uh, resumption. And maybe it's a story that uh, both coaches have told their sides, Gilbert. You don't want to chase this game. You don't want to chase this game because any team that goes up, it will, uh, and, I mean, it scores the first goal, it will uh, put pressure on the other team to draw, to, try, to start chasing the game. And none of them wants to, do, to be the first one to do that. 
uh, I think it will be disadvantageous if you're the one who's chasing the game. So you might just take the advantage of being the one leading the game. They've got a different man running up at the front now. Wedin Musa is the target man at the center. They will be looking for him. Mistakes in the midfield will be punished. This one to Fitzuma Lemu. Yeah, he knows the right thing to do. But they know that they want to target him as well and get an early goal. Both I sides employing the same kind of tactic, Albert. Yeah, and the goalkeepers on both sides are uh, on high alert. And uh, Fikali knows that those kind of passes, if you put them close to the keeper, he will definitely thwart them. And therefore, the timing of the run and the pass uh, and the power behind it should be weighed. It's going to be a throw-in. Teredawa, the last touch with Elias Mamo, so it's going to be for uh, the Bahad Bahad Dar side. Oh, a foul from the Honestly. Why? And yet he's the one who committed the, uh, the crime there. Aferwa Kali. Aferwa Kailu offered him a, a hand to help him up. And he refuses to take it. That's an unsportsmanship conduct. This is uh, down on the right side, dangerously so. <laughs> Why is he flinging himself on the ground, Gilbert? Is he, he expected he, to get something from the referee? No, he delayed in putting pressure. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he had to dive. Oh. Uh, yeah. To, he, to, to cover the space in which he should have been. Oh, so it's place. diving pressure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a different kind of pressure then. As uh, Yared Zwende brings the ball onto the left side. I think they're coming more into position now. They did it our side. But it's what uh, Bayadar can do with it that might counter that strategy. Or might then uh, make them break, push it off the field of play for a throw in. Yeah, he handled it. He did. Playing the referee's decisions on everything. Good tackle here, picked up by Bayadar. If they can speed it up uh, front, it might just work for them. But uh, transition is uh, very quick in this game. So a better idea on the left side by Fitsu Malemu. But I tell you, if he doesn't get there, oh, then the other side quickly decides to bring it back. And you could be in a little bit of trouble. And Solomon Wadessa is just making sure that he's playing his central defense role very, very well for Bahel Dar. So much so that he's cut out a lot of what should have been coming through the center by uh, Dida Dawa. Good ball control. And then ultimately touching it off the field of play. Daniel Demisi knows that in terms of... Uh... Yeah, a friend of mine once complained about twins really making his life miserable. He didn't know which one was which one. <laughs> I won't tell you under what circumstances that was happening, but <laughs> he tried to he, he tried to get get us to help him identify them. And every time we realized we were part of the problem yeah. because we, we were actually the ones misleading him. Big cross onto the left side, headed back! Oh, just over the bar! Very difficult angle, but very good idea and very spirited effort as well coming from Marshal Girma. In the goalkeeper is beaten and he tries to get it, you know, over the goalkeeper and probably drop it at the corner there. Yeah, he knows that it was difficult and refused to go in the other. Yeah, Shalel Girma knows that uh, he had an opportunity to uh, head the ball over the goalkeeper and into the net, and he loses that one. Did it down the attack again. Long ball intended for Ashley Ogirma, but cut off by the defenders. And Bayer Dar still trying to come into possession. They are maintaining their defensive formation and uh, only venturing forward when they are in attack and leaving two men up at the front. One of them is Bayer Gezahen, and the other one uh, is uh, Fitsu Malemu, who continually is helping out up at the front. Well, call, call, call it, pushing right into the net. No doubt about it. He's done it all by himself and beaten the goalkeeper with a shot that only the coach can upload. Very well taken from the least expected person. To
one side. What a push coming from Bahar Dar. Rated. And that's what it takes sometimes in a game that is locked like this. It takes individual uh, brilliance. Be able to ball in. Now they're going to be singing and dancing. They will they, dance. He, he has unlocked the, 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 the dancing troupe. Some of the moves they were not giving at the moment, the songs they were not singing, now have been unlocked. Uh, they're going to be sung on the side stands. Well, do they have the character to hold it like that, or will Dilladawa then react? Getting it into the midfield. They will come out of their hole in droves as well. Even Daniel Demisia is now pushing up at the front. A high line in the midfield, a high line in the defense as well. Into the box, looking for a turn. way this we uh, this uh, goal Gilbert yeah um, I mean you can you can say that many times that man on your screen Ahmed Rashid that is his second goal in this in this, uh, in this correct league. yes he decided that because by Gezahun has been tightly marked he decides to take it upon himself and go by himself and those are rare kind of goals and you might say that's a bit of luck but i think that was some result fisher Lemo doesn't Ahmed think Rashid. it's a bit of luck uh, fisher to melison <laughs> doesn't think it's a bit of luck it thinks that it's a laxity in defense on the other side facil take a lead had a little you know just clap you know in anticipation in, in appreciation of begging pardon on what has been done now barricade has his boot off uh, that means the pain is intense when uh, the boot is on it's been forced off the field of play might be an indication of not very good things the corner Alemu had a touch on it and now they try to bring it out of the midfield the shot goes under the left side and rolls off the field of play expectation with people running onto it but it doesn't uh, get exactly what they wanted out of it so this is going to be a free kick here a goal kick here for uh, the did it our side they came very strongly in the resumption of the second half and looked like they had it all sorted out on how they were going to approach the game this is uh the new substitute no this is muadin musa i beg your pardon he's been in the game here he's been complimented by samuel zerihun who's the new substitute the minister tries to send it on to the left side there's going to be a foul here says the referee quickly started and then a chance for a cross on to the left. The headers. No one from the Didadawa side to push it into the net. Wodessa will follow it off the field of play. He'd rather have it for a throw in. And uh, yeah, they, they should have done something better with it, Gilbert. They're giving a lot of time and space to this man on the left, on the far left. They, they're leaving a lot of space yes, for him. For Aschalu and uh, Girma. Yes. Yeah, a lot of balls are being brought towards him. And he's actually attacking from the back post where. Uh, Bahirat, Bahirat have failed to put some checks and balances off. You're right about that, Gilbert. A couple of minutes ago, we know that Ashley also did try to get a header from that side. So, yeah, uh, let's just say that he's putting himself in a very good position for a score for Dire Dawa. And uh, the more they use him, the, probably the better for them. But we'll see whether the defenders have also done it deliberately to leave him on the far side because they're closing in mostly at the center where they believe that uh, most of the attacks would be coming from. Well, that one goal has changed the way the game is going to be played. It's 1-0. It's favor of, in favor of Bahir Dar. Oh, individual brilliance certainly pays off as well. A lot of tussling here. The referee lets it play on. And, uh, and it's picked up by Ashley Ogirma. He's now trying to bring in the passes from the midfield. And then a mistake here, Elias Mamo capitalizing on it, not taking a good shot. And uh, he's not going to get anything out of that because there wasn't much that was going on there, Gilbert. There wasn't much. That is the, t the playmaker for Dear Dawa. But now, do you think the absence of uh, Kaimuni uh, the and then uh, Najepe uh, yes. uh, has uh, had a negative impact on I'm them? I'm sure on, this uh, man, Fisher Sumelisa, must be having all the alternatives. But yes, they don't have the two Namibians. Uh, you can say that as well. Sometimes, you know, when your play is uh, revolving around a couple of 
men and they're not on the field you have to change it and when you change it they don't adapt to it that quickly so maybe in training he did train without them but he knows that the adaptation on the field is a little bit different because again they've tried to pump the balls forward but you see it's not getting to anybody uh, who they intend to get it to the only man trying now is Samuel Zerihun because uh, Muedin Musa has been in the game longer and um, didn't uh, capitalize on all those mistakes here is a back heel big clear and sensible off the field of play and they know what it means there's a defender to be beaten to that. so happy to see Bereket is back onto the field the Diradawa side have used him to clear that ball it's going to be a throw in and it's going to be for Bahir Dar 62 minutes of play we're playing the 63rd it's Umalemu either providing or making the runs himself carrying the ball to the left hand side or to the right hand side and uh, at times it's very difficult to, to mark that kind of a player. he's done everything literally including the complaining to the referee he's done most of that as well but that's a man who takes responsibility so he's picked up everything for uh, that side Fraser Casa is watching this as it unfolds in front of his defense line that's the man we're talking about Fitsuba Lemu oh, this back hill doesn't get to the doesn't live up to the purpose that it was intended. It's going to be a foul here. It's going to be taken by the Dire Dawa side. It's about this time when there are some very tired legs on the field of play. Be taken by the Dire Dawa side. It's about this time when there are some very tired legs on the field of play, Gilbert. And about this time also that uh, coaches uh, begin to think about where to make substitutions. Do you think Fasil is thinking about that? Well, Fasil, uh, uh, not Fasil, uh, oh, Fasil, uh, the, the coach. <laughs> well, he's, he should be thinking about that. They are making a lot of inroads. And uh, the man that I expected to be the prime suspect in that uh, forward line is by Geza Hung. He's really not uh, you think, made that you, impact. You, you think he's going to be targeted for substitution? You, you're not sure okay we so we'll wait sure. and see what happens but sure. uh, he's not been giving uh, he's given what he can but compared to what Fitzum Alemo is giving Fitzum has given 95 percent you know and uh, it uh, probably on the other side the strikers and this is not scientific could have given about 60 65 percent in my estimation nothing scientific there just picking on numbers and uh, trying to think on, on whether that fits the explanation being given for the performance on the field it's gonna be a free kick it's going the Dire Dawa way. A city on the east of Addis Ababa, just about 550 kilometers uh, in Africa on a good road. That would be like an eight hour journey by road. Observing speed limits, of course. Down on the right side for Bayer Dar. And Bayer has caught up with it. He's looking for support. Uh, it doesn't go too far off. I think there's a player on the ground. So uh, possession is with uh, the Bahir Dar's, uh, with the Dira Dawa side. No, no, Bahir Dar's side, but there's a man down here from that uh, open boot challenge. Uh, the captain of uh, the Bahir Dar's side tried to get back into the game, and he did, but Fraser also walked out of that, but he's feeling it now. The defender on the Dira Dawa side. The fans are anxious. 25 minutes of play remaining, and the scoreline is not in their favor. This is a little bit of a difficult situation in which they have to consult and find out what's going on. Uh, I think, like I said earlier on, there's only 12 or so fans being allowed into the stadium. Probably the officials of the teams will be there as well. Because the COVID protocols have to be observed. These players have to give their names earlier and must return negative COVID uh, results to be allowed into the stadium. Of course, selected by their teams. So this is going to be bounced for, uh, for Bahar Dar. Oh, for Dira Dawa. What position? As Firel Getahun starts it on the right side, 
can Dira Dawa actually just live up to the character and counter what Bayardar has got in this game? Or will Bayardar then live up to the bill and extend the lead in this game? Those are the questions that you might be asking yourself at the moment. Even as the attempt it is to take the ball onto the right side. And we got another man on the ground. I think not having been able to take off on time. It uh, seems like uh, it's going to be a worse situation than we initially thought. Or uh, did a dawa. Now asking for a stretcher to come down onto this other side. And run, and then suddenly abandoning the run. Not voluntarily, but because something gives in on uh, this side you get the impression that a lot of other things might happen and it's muhedin the striker up on the diradawa side well, you know once a striker gets that kind of injury it becomes very difficult to imagine him coming back and i think he's had a lot of attacks coming into his side he's walking right the right around the field that gives me the impression that he might not come in come he might not be coming back at all and diradawa might be forced to make another change but this time probably because of an injury and uh, usually when that happens again it um, ignites a technical a tactical change as well that's off the field of play it's gonna be a goal kick so muedin musa has been substituted and they bring in what was in dereje what do you make of that gilbert he is a forward we've not seen him in uh, a number of these matches and uh, in the absence of kaimoni nanjebe and now in the absence of muhidin they are really looking thin, uh, especially in the forward line for Dire Dawa. And uh, Dereji has to compliment Zirahun to try and see whether they can be able to unlock this defense. So uh, the preferred strikers are off the game. Yeah, three of them. Three of them. Well, Fitzum fighting to gain possession. By is trying to get into position. Fitzum pushes it. But uh, it's cut out. And uh, for a throw in tried a diagonal pass into the box there i thought he was going to take the chance and go just the same way as uh, uh ahmed rashid did uh, on his own up at the front i think the coach was thinking the same thing it's the understanding you see by actually moved uh, he ran as a decoy yeah and then gave them a lot of room to profit some to go in and take a strike well they need to change those statistics from the draws they went into a loss and then they won and then went into a loss so now they went into a draw again in the last match now they might be getting, going into a win because uh, if you have to go by that just rhythm and uh, that algorithm, <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to work for them. But football, they say, is not science and it's not magic. Things change in a very few seconds, Gilbert. Yeah, things will have to change, especially for the two sides. They've won two, two games, drawn one and lost two, ga uh, two games. And uh, it's, it's, it's going to be very, very important for them at least to try and uh, give their best in this particular one, uh, especially for Bahid Dar. They are in a prime position to win this game because they are dominating the game and there are so many injuries that are happening on the Dira Odawa side that uh, are giving uh, their coach fish at Zilema to, uh, to Melissa a lot well, of time. Uh, like he pulled himself a little bit too much. He just pulled wow. himself a little bit too much and that's a very uncomfortable landing on uh, the uh, Dira Odawa's defender, Heno Kasayas. He didn't land very comfortably. He could pull something out of that. And an armstring could very easily come out of that, not because you're not fit, Gilbert, but it's because of the unnatural kind of move that you're trying to make to stop that ball. Yeah, you're very right, Bernard. And he was trying to get to a ball that uh, was way off his line. And uh, I think uh, it's a cause for alarm for uh, Fisher Suleiman, I mean, Sumelisan, for Henok uh, Sayas to get injured at this point in time. Let's see if he's going to come back into the game. Well, Henok Isaias is going to be uh, treated off the field of play. It's uh, a very desperate situation for the fans as well. It's very frustrating. You know, you've told everybody, I'm going to support my team. We're going to win. We got good statistics. We are Dira Dawa. We are seventh. And uh, we've got seven points. We are, uh, we, 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 we are just the same as uh, the 
Bahidar side and today we're going to be on top of them. And the Bahidar fans then tell each other, no, you know what, we are the ones who are in a better position, in the sixth position. We have got a better goal aggregate and I think that we are going to go further up with three points. So now it's just about 19 minutes separating the fans from their happiness. The coaches, obviously, you know, 90 minutes can separate you from your job if you're a coach. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not saying there's anything happening on this side. I'm just saying Fisher Smelisan knows that it's a long time for anything to happen. Fitzum brings it to Baye, who's away late. Oh, Baye goes down too easily. He's going to get a yellow card for diving. And the ball is going to go the opposite direction. Yep, that's it. I mean, why is he just making a dive for it? It doesn't happen that easily. He seems to be very, very unmoved by it. Now he knows he's going to have to just play his game. <laughs> And, uh, you know, sometimes you look at these yellow unnecessary cards and when they add up, you know, they add up to another card altogether. So, buyer has got to watch out. He just went in for, you know, for a fall, trying to dupe. Is it that desperate, Gilbert? He went into a maze of, of, of legs. I mean, when he had it an opportunity... It wasn't even a maze. Just two pairs of legs yeah. can, cannot be described <laughs> as a maze. He, he just made an amazingly... Uh, desperate attempt to dupe the, the referee here. And sometimes it's annoying when that happens. As again, they start to bring the build up from the left side. Onto the left side now for the Diridawa side. Into the midfield. Pushed onto the right side by Elias Mamo. He's playing a little bit more cautiously than he did before. As uh, Mamo himself has a yellow card as well. The two number nines on either side have all been yellow carded. You remember the good old days, Gilbert, when you were uh, a player. The number nine jersey was revered because that was a striker. That was the man who's getting you the goals. And the number nine did not was also the disciplined player. He was not doing anything unwanted uh, in the game. So it's a very revered number. Although later it changed to the number ten. Well, it's a, it's a number that uh, no one wanted to put on if you're not a striker and you do, if you're not a goal scorer. Here is a good chance directly towards goal now. Blocked by Harrison Hesu. And Okisayas from uh, that little problem he had earlier on has come on stronger and almost puts uh, the ball in the net here if it wasn't for the quick uh, actions of uh, Hesu. And, uh, and the, you've told me about that area on the left side, Gilbert, a yes, lot of times. That space, that is exactly where three golden opportunities have appeared for Dere Dawa. And uh, Bahidar really need to put tact on that uh, back post. Well, it's going to be a free kick. And uh, I think a substitution will be made on the other side as well. Moliken is going to come into the game. Now everybody will probably get a chance to give their contribution to the team. Muliken Adyanya. Aidanya is uh, the man who's going to be playing now. Who was he substituted, Gilbert? Oh, they've actually pulled out their matchmaker, Elias Mamo. But he's tired, Gilbert. Yeah, he's tired and yeah. therefore those are three strikers that have been brought in to try and uh, resolve this problem. That's a diving header to get the ball out of the danger. And... Uh, yeah, he's tired, and yeah. therefore those are three strikers that have been brought in to try and uh, resolve this problem. That's a diving header to get the ball out of the danger. And uh, Ashley Gilma was still waiting for it on the left side. He didn't get to it. Has this been given out for Diridawa? Yes, as a throw-in. He was very close there here. And other times when you pull out your best players, and in a game where you expect them to be able to excel and pull you out of uh, this quagmire, it just shows you that uh, the ideas are wrong. Yeah, you are the coach. You tell me why you pull out. <laughs> you tell me why they pull out the uh, useful players in there. I think the only reason they would is the one who changed the strategy. And the other reason would be that uh, those players are fatigued now and uh, cannot be of any use. Now, this one is uh, going out of the field of play. I thought that uh, the Barrett side would probably pick up the ball uh, and go for a fast break, but they didn't. They instead just decided to go on a direct attack. But uh, even that left side uh, that we thought they were playing on too much is now only being left for Renock, but he's got to come back into defense. So we'll wait to see who else should have been there and why they're not there at the time when they're needed. By puts through Fitsum Alemu, who cuts it back and doesn't get up on time to pick up that loose ball but does the right thing to bring it back away from the defender. 
who was already prepared to go all the way to the wire and to stop it from that angle. Back into the midfield. Very many orange socks in defense waiting for that ball, including the captain who then loses a little bit of concentration. And I think that's the story that we'll be giving on the Didn't Die side at the moment. The concentration is going away. Jared Zwende is probably thinking of something else altogether other than the game ahead of him. It's going to be a throw in. And it's going to be for Bahir Da with uh, Melchias Girma quickly taking it. This is a punch right into the box. It won't be any problem to Fireo Getahun. But can uh, Didadawa mount a counter attack? They got enough shots in the midfield. They're coloring the midfield in their orange. They should also have a little color in the way they are approaching the front line and use it specifically to try and level this game because uh, it's a question of getting a point or three for Didadawa. This is pushed back. Uh, hoping that there was going to be a mistake there is uh, too much of uh, optimistic thinking. Ah, the coach is getting a little bit desperate. He knows that time is not on his side, Gil, but what do coaches think about it at a time like this? Well, he's just wondering in what, what route should they be able to use to be able at least uh, to unlock that. And if I was to advise him, he should realize that if you draw a line uh, from the the end of the 18 yard line on, on 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 the both sides and draw it all the way to the other side that is exactly where Bered, uh, Bered Dawa is defending and okay. leaving the opposite side i mean the uh, i think we should just draw a line as well on <laughs> what kind of tackles should be in the field <laughs> because this one on Bereket has been ruled as a, a, a nasty foul coming from Elias Mamo you know he bangs right into Bereket remember Bereket has come in for a lot of bumping in this game and at one point had to be treated for a little while off the field of play for about a minute or so. And so he's, this, this bumps are really causing him a lot of trouble. Into the midfield. They can't oh. win there. They cannot win in that midfield. They can't win in the midfield. Yes, they cannot win. They have to use the wider areas of the pitch. Okay. Yeah, because that is where Bayedar are defending, the middle part of the field. I'm going to run down and tell them that, girl, but, <laughs> and then I come back. Yeah, this is a foul. You, need <laughs> a <longer. midfield. laughs> you know, someone needs to run down and tell them that. But uh, this uh, bird here running back into defense, the guilty bird in that uh, tackle was uh, the defender, Ahmed Reshid, who's also scored the goal for uh, the Bahir Dad side. Sheer push of energy. The Gilbert that we talk about in this quarter has come from uh, Ahmed Reshid pushed with all the energy past the defenders, five of them, and put the ball in the net at that time. And the uh, Diradawa side is yet to mount a count, a comeback. On Western Dereje brings it onto the left side. Oh, better kit. I don't know why, but uh, I usually have a soft for Gilbert for any of the big strikers who get hurt, you know, they're usually just gentle giants. They're not really nasty people. It's just the size that they have. And so when you see better get down two or three times, you feel for him. Again, now you understand why players will strap their fingers together. It's to avoid any kind of dislocation on the fingers when you're playing the ball. You know, get, get a little more energy when they're tied together than uh, when one is operating on its own. And so it's going to be a free kick here while uh, a substitution is being made for Bahir Dar. The first substitution they are making, they are bringing in Samuel Tesfai. And uh, they are bringing out uh, Salam Lak Tegen. Well, I rarely noticed him in the game, I'm afraid. Up to the 80th minute, he's been stealthily doing his business in the, in the, in the, in the midfield. And now they bring a forward for Bahir Dar, even as his Ariston Hesu. Uh, complains rightfully so of a push in his goal area that comes again from the big defender, Mr. Berkett. Yeah. Yeah, whatever he's gonna sleep today, Berkett, he's really had it rough. Yeah, in this game this afternoon. What's wrong with where he's going to sleep today? Uh, you look, look at him. Like, yeah, I've no, seen him. Just he's like, okay, uh, I've had, I mean, you guys have really, Is that pounded, a hard day? You've really pounded on me. This man has not had as hard a day <laughs> as Bereket, has he? He's this man rough... is not having as good a day as Fasil, is I he? can tell you that uh, this man has sleep, he's going to have sleepless nights should they lose this game. 
the uh, on the other side fasil is also pressed uh, in such a way that uh, uh, he yeah, has an opportunity to 